when I heard about him having a cardiac arrest, I found it a joke. But then when I heard, I heard he passed away, especially with the age of 50, I mean, because um, I showed him a month ago. I've been training him. I love you so much. I worked on him stretching on the floor, all different moves, and um, he was energetic. He was happy as he can be, he was animated. As far as he eating, he, he ate the same because in 15 years ago, he told me he liked to only eat once a day. And I think he said he was a vegetarian. I know everybody says, how the Incredible Hulk trained Michael Jackson? We met uh, over 15 years ago. He was a big fan of mine. He loved the Hulk and everything. So I had a doctor friend, who was a friend of his, he, he suggested that Michael have Lou train you because I have a facility, and we private, and he felt that I was the best. So when Michael came to see me the first time, it kind of like, he had the mask on, came down the driveway, and then just gave me a hug. It wasn't nothing thing like anything stage. It was just like Lou and Michael just hit it up because both of us had a similar childhood, and we had strong domineering fathers. And both of us had a lot of pain and anger. And we shared that because his escape was music. My escape was bodybuilding fitness because I had such a passion for fitness. So that's, we, that's how we collaborated because we became almost like kids all over again. We never had a childhood. I really never had a childhood, like social life. My childhood was introverted. And Michael was like constantly singing, his dad pushing, driving him. So he was always kind of like, the kid, you know, getting whacked around, so basically, he didn't want to be like his father. Neither did I. He loved all people. He may be eccentric on the outside, but if you're alone with him, he's not eccentric because he's a prisoner. He could not come to see me for me to train him. I had to go to his house because they constantly followed him. Because every time you go to his house now, there's always people out on the street, paparazzi. There's two of us going up down on the microphone. This is where Michael Jackson lives. I mean, we're talking about complete prisoners.